Hello everybody, I'm Aaron Norris, it is April 12th, and this is the Norris Group's Real Estate Headline Roundup in two. First up with some quick headlines, 26% of Fannie Mae's National Housing Survey takers said now is a good time to sell. That's two times more than last year. The number of job openings in February increased to their highest in five years at almost 4 million. However, layoffs and discharges are up as well. LPS reported this week about 500,000 delinquent loans were cured in February, most of which were only one to two months behind. As of February though, 1.5 million loans are seriously delinquents and past due on average 474 days. Wow. Stan Humphreys, chief economist over at Zillow, says that days of record high home affordability is limited and that interest rates could force prices to stagnate or in some cases even go down. For those of us in California that have seen the interest rates versus median price chart, you know that's not always the case here in lovely Southern California. Uh, something we'll definitely be talking about on July 13th at California come back to fast, furious, and dangerous. Consumer groups, including the Consumers Union and the Center for Responsible Lending, are pushing for more foreclosure reforms nationwide. They're suggesting reforms build on the national settlement from last year and the CFPB's changes to mirror that of the California Homeowners Bill of Rights. The agency wants to do away with dual-track foreclosures as well as force mortgage servicers to negotiate terms with borrowers. So we're already covered in California, just thought you should know. If you were in the foreclosure process in 2009 or 2010 and had a loan serviced by Citibank, Bank of America, Aurora, Goldman Sachs, HSBC, JP Morgan, MetLife, Morgan Stanley, PNC, Sovereign, SunTrust, US Bank, or Wells Fargo, the check is in the mail. These 13 services are sending out $3.6 billion to settle the lawsuit with the Fed Reserve and the OCC to make up for botched foreclosures. The Obama administration will be introducing its budget with some $25 billion in wasteful and duplicate spending. Included in that proposal is cuts to one catfish inspector program. You heard that right. And that's going to save around $14 million. Really? Catfish? I wonder what else is in this proposal. This story is for all of you loan people out there. Regulators have decided to extend the HARP refinancing program for borrowers with loans with Fannie and Freddie all the way through 2015. It was, of course, due to set to expire at the end of this year. The program got uh, off to a rough start, but now boasts helping over 2.2 million borrowers. That's it for the headlines this week, but of course there are many more headlines on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com slash blog. Up on the radio show, we've got our second interview with Ward Hannigan. Uh, upcoming events, May 7th, we're going to be doing Poise to Pop in Orange County with Phoebe O.C. May 16th, uh, we're going to be doing it in Corona at Tigar. May 17th, we're going to be at the Chino Valley Real Estate Professionals Group doing Poise to Pop. And June 1st, of course, will be our first one day in Southern California in quite some time. We're going to be doing How to Make a Million Dollars Maximizing the Next 24 Months by Bruce Norris. And then July 13th, it is official. We are moving forward with California Comeback 2, Fast, Furious, and Dangerous. For more information on all five of our hard money loans, you can check out the thenorrisgroup.com. If you're interested in making a passive 9% return, head on over to tngtrustdeeds.com for, for, for more information there. With that, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you next week.